Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Yesterday we covered this Orpheus TTS model and we installed it locally and we generated lot of audio files in different styles. Today in this video we are going to fine tune this model on a custom data set. I am also going to show you the data set so that if you want to fine tune this model on your own audio data set you can do that easily. I will be making another video separately for the data set creation so stay tuned but as long as you have an audio file and bit of a text you should be able to easily fine tune this model on your own data set. Before we start the process of fine tuning let's have a very quick look at this model. If you want more detail, just check out this video which I just ye did yesterday. So this Orpheus TTS model is a state-of-the-art large language model specifically designed for generating highly expressive human-like speech audio from text. It uses a proven Llama-based architecture to achieve natural intonation and realistic emotional nuances. Fine-tuning this audio model means taking the pre-trained version, initially trained on extensive general audio and text data, and further training it on a specific audio data set, allowing the model to adapt its general knowledge and speech synthesis capabilities to more precisely emulate a particular speaking style, accent, or voice characteristic present in the provided fine-tuning data set. This process leads to better performance and personalized voice replication, making the resulting speech outputs increasingly accurate and tailored for a specific use case or production environment. So let's try to fine tune this and allow me to also give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring this VM and my GPU card which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If you are also looking to rent a GPU on very very affordable prices, you can find the link to the website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50%. Now, I am creating my virtual environment with Coda. And then I am going to install all the prerequisites which include Torch and Transformers, some audio libraries and also the flash attention because in the training it is going to improve the memory consumption for us. So let's wait for it to get created. Meanwhile, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with application in data generation, task automation and world simulation and I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. All the prerequisites are done. Let's now log into Hugging Face and you would need to grab your right token from Hugging Face which I am going to paste here. It's a free token which you can grab from your profile in Hugging Face. So let me put in my token here and then you can just simply type capital Y and you can see that my login is successful. In order to also uh, do some instrumentation of our training process you can also optionally log into VanDB which primarily logs your telemetry around your uh, process of this training which we are going to do or fine tuning so you can go to VanDB's website which you as you can see here uh, you can just go to VanDB.ai authorize and then after logging in you can grab your API key which is a free API key so I'm just going to paste my API key here and I am also logged into my VanDB account, which is again a free account. Next up, let's git clone the repo of Orpheus. That is also done. And then finally, we can just simply launch our train.py. So for that, all you need to do is to run this command. Now, before I run this command, I want to show you what exactly this train.py looks like. So let me open it in VS Code. So as you can see, this is a train.py where we are simply importing some of the libraries which we have just installed and then we are also specifying the config.yaml. If I open the config.yaml which is also in the same directory, this is where we need to give it the um, data set path which, it, which we I will show you shortly. This is the model name which is the base model which is uh, which we are going to fine tune. So primarily these are all customizable configurable parameters. 
so and in this one you can see that there are some of the hyper parameters where you can adjust them so it is specifying data set path pre-trained or fierce model name training arguments such as number of epochs batch size learning rate save frequency and few other things and it also defines the project's output directory i already have covered uh, these hyper parameters in my other videos so this is how many times it is going to run through your whole um, data set or in other words it means that it makes a complete pass through the entire data set and then batch size is for example one at line number eight it is a number of training samples which simultaneously are processed per gpu training step number of processes one which means that how many gpus uh, will be utilized i just have one and then i'm using this pad token as this value which is token id that is used for uh, sequences shorter than the required input length interval um, in training steps between successive model checkpoint saves this is the one i'm talking about and then learning rate is the step size which determines how quickly the model update its parameters during the fine tuning and rest is the directory and all of these parameters are being used here in this file which primarily is preparing and running the fine tuning procedure for the orpheus tts model now as far as uh, if you just scroll down through it it is a very simple script which we have done a lot of times and it is just using those hyper parameters to run the training now for the data set what i'm going to do what i'm going to put it in here is this data set which is a zx sample data set it's a very simple data set all this data set has is two columns text and audio text contains a text and audio contains a very simple four second five second eight second audio so jake have you started pack you see so this sort of audios are there my Olympic dreams are over. I missed the qualifying time by less than a second. So different styles, different intonation and all that stuff. So you can just have your own audios, own text. And this is, it should be in this format, which is a very simple format. But as I said, I will do a separate video on data set creation. So if you don't know how to do that, I will also give you a step by step stuff. So now we know what exactly these files look like and remember this is in the fine tune directory so we would just need to go back and go into our fine tune directory and if i show you there we have our config and train.py and this is where we need to run that accelerate script so let me run that and now also if you look at this command so this command is used to conveniently start distributed or gpu accelerated model training that has been provided by hugging face accelerate library and this accelerate the first word allows easy handling of distributed computing mixed precision training it could be fp16 or bf16 gradient handling and accumulation and lot of other heavy lifting it does for you which you don't have to worry about it can do multi gpu it can do single gpu and it utilizes a gpu without any manual configuration so it simply optimizes and simplifies the training process automatically and that is why we are using it so let me run this it is downloading the model pre-trained one and there are four shards of it so let's wait for the model to get downloaded so the training run started as you can see and it started logging here but then it failed due to this error out of memory so it seems that it won't fit it on our 48 gpu of vram so i'm what i'm going to do i'm going to upgrade my gpu to something different maybe i'll go with h100 with 80 gpu of vram so let me do that and then rerun this and show you okay so i have moved on to this 80 gpu vram vm again from our very good friend that masked compute so what i'm and i have installed everything again let me now start that accelerate process with the same config which i showed you earlier so let's see how it goes it is going to download model and stuff again and i, I have already logged into hugging face and fan db so let's wait for it
and there you go this time the training has started as you can see on our data set so let's wait and there you go the whole training run has already completed just took around one and a half minute that's it we can also check it out at this van db so i'll just click on this link and i'm not sure if it will open it but i will just take you there so let's go here and run it they're not really not this i think i didn't copy it let me quickly copy this link sorry about that come on let me sorry and there you go this is how it looks like this is a training and you see how the loss has come down and all the metrics and it's really really good observability tool which you can check a lot of things in the real world scenario you will check this you will go back and run your training again and you can see if the loss has come down how the training is going and all that stuff okay let's go back and now if you're looking for your recently fine-tuned new model just go to where you have git clone this or fstts uh, repo go to fine tune library uh, directory you will see a checkpoints directory this is a checkpoint and these this is your new model with all the safe tensors and then config.json and all the metadata which is required this is your local model which you can use anywhere you can install it just like we did the fine tuned version yesterday same steps or you could just push it to hugging face hub and share it with the world and if you want to upload this new model to your hugging face repo all you need to do is to run these commands so just um, so you can put it in a python script or to run it from your python interpreter so i'm just importing these libraries from transformer this is the checkpoints path so which you see that it is in the same directory so i'm just giving it a relative path this is a new repo name you can just give it anything you like and then we are loading the model and its tokenizer and then we are pushing it to hugging face hub both the model and the tokenizer and that's about it so you can just simply go here and then run it from your uh, whatever directory your script is and after the upload when you would go to your hugging face page or repo you will see that the model is uploaded as you can see here i haven't put in uh, the read my, read me file so model card is not there but if you would put in read me file it will also be there so this is the model which got uploaded here with the same repo name which we uh, gave it in that config dot uh, in that upload script and if you want to know how to run it as i said just watch this video which we did yesterday you can either download it from hugging face or if you want to just load the local model which we just find you and just give the pass to it that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching